ICU gives you direct access to the log files that are extremely useful for troubleshooting interfaces. You go into Tools and then Log Files. You can see a list of all the log files. You can double click on any of these, go directly to the file. Let's say um, you know, that's, that's a particularly useful method compared to going out and browsing for that same information. Also within here you can specify uh, the activity of the service that manages those log files. As you can see, it's a service that's currently running. It's called the PyLog SRV service. It's one of the few services that runs all the time on a client node like this, uh, but it's really not using much uh, Py in the way of Py API or SDK. All it does is really manage the maximum number of pypc.logs and the maximum file size. So that's available here as well. Now, in addition, within this tool's log files, you'll find something called continuous. This brings up an interesting little program called watchlog.exe. This is a program that we've used for years internally until we finally got around to sharing it with customers. It's a great little mechanism to show you in real time what's going on with your connecting clients. You know, for example, if I were to, and I can actually run, leave this running while I do other things, if I actually exit out of this, or connect or disconnect, you know, those types of things are things that will typically write messages into the message log. Or for example, if I start up or shut down a copy of process book, you would see those messages uh, start up immediately. Let me show you an example because that last example didn't really write any messages. Uh, here's a utility called API Snap that will initiate a connection to the Pi server. So uh, let's see if I can go to mobile VBC. And as you can see right here, there we see in the PyPC.log, it tells me that I initiated a connection. In fact, that's the connection that you see right there. I can type in the name of a tag, Sinusoid, and then that, uh, that connection or this, this utility allows me to see the value of that. So that's the type of uh, usefulness of Watchlog. It simply shows you in real time all the messages that are being written to the PyPC.log.